the white gi on the left of the screen is Jonatas Gracie of Atos. And in the blue gi is Lucas Valley of Ring BJJ. Remind me, who did Lucas Valley beat in the elimination? Because I remember we had a really, really exciting match with him. I do I'll, remember uh, that. So he's. To bring up your results from we're yesterday. in a lot of action already here. Some big sweep action oh from Jonatas Gracie. Look at that. Gracie wow, is on the back with it. Belt. <laughs> that was so tight. I thought he was going to get flipped over the top, and he managed to retain it. Yeah, uh, looking a little bit upset here because he does not want to reset off this back position, but the referee is saying, you know, stand up. We did not have the full back position when he called stop. So he'll get an advantage, and they will restart here. Lucas Valley uh, was able to beat Matias Luna yesterday. That's right. In, uh, in an early round took match, his back. And that was a wild one. And yeah. Matias was winning the whole time. He took his back and uh, got that figure four position. It was just really, really brutal there at the end. So he's looking good this uh, this tournament for sure. Jonathan Gracie had one match yesterday, uh, a win over Sebastian Rodriguez of uh, Unity, the rookie black belts. Uh, Gracie. Gracie was actually disqualified in the final uh, last year uh, against Jonathan Alves. And um, it was a little bit of a disappointing kind of result, the way that it was, uh, he was basically pushed out of bounds, but the referees, they, they said that he was actually fleeing the area and he was disqualified. So I think for Gracie, he's got something to prove in this uh, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah, that was heartbreaking. <laughs> that was heartbreaking to watch because it did not look intentional when that happened, but it is what the referees saw. And now we're seeing a very confident Jonathan on the bottom. Interesting, there was a big blitz in the beginning of this fight. Didn't We ended up on the back, reset standing, and now a little bit more calm, although we did see a nice sweep attempt here from Gracie. Still zero, Extending zero. that left arm, really just pushing that leg into the air, like a thinking about like a treetop single leg finish. That's kind of what it reminded me of. And now nice hunting the back a little bit. Uh, not quite the back. Great Solid awareness defense. by Valley. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. like a great awareness of where his hips and his back are. You see him make very quick adjustments of these positions. Now Grace is trying to elevate that right leg of Valley into this. Uh, to this single leg X position again, obviously. You know, the one thing that all the guys at Atos tell me is that Gracie is that uh, he is a, one of the most studious, one of the most uh, technical guys in the gym. Uh, apparently he is uh, he's one of those guys that you go to when you have a problem with something and it's like, let's figure this out. Or if you've got any ideas about what I should do here, apparently he's I'm not saying encyclopedia. something. Encyclopedia. Imagine how many guys there are in Atos, how many yes. world class black belts, how many uh, incredible uh, teachers, instructors, and fighters. And uh, apparently, Gracie is one of the uh, one of the key members of the team in that respect. Very good str strategist as well, apparently. Yeah, and, it's uh, exciting. But obviously, very crea and tough, you know, yeah. creative, tough, relentless. You know, he's been a, a seasoned, consistent competitor for a very long time. A big name for a very long time, and there's a reason for that. So it's interesting with competitors. Some competitors are more strategists. Some competitors are more, you know, talk a lot about mindset. Some competitors are encyclopedias like that, you know, where they just have so much information. They love to study jiu-jitsu. And when you have multiple people with different strengths on one team really contributing to another, it's very powerful. And back in, nice into a good close guard here. Opens it right back up. And closes it right back up. <laughs> Good control here by Gracie. I can't stop thinking about the fact that he was set on the back and got reset on the feet. Now we haven't seen that action again, but does have two, a two advantage lead here in the quarter final match. It is rough, isn't it, when uh, as a competitor you work so hard to earn a position and it gets taken away from you, but it's something that you have to learn to deal with. That uh, Absolutely. It's one of those things about competition is that you can't control everything. Not everything goes the way that you want it to. And sometimes you just have to play the hand you're dealt. And it's true. And I think most competitors would agree that sometimes you're on the winning end of that. And sometimes you're on the losing end of that. Oh, look at that Big transition. Big sweep to the, and then up to the back. And then, uh, wrestling up here into a double. Gracie and he gets will. it, but Valley gets back up to his knees. No points scored. Wow. 
Valley with this awareness of where he is at at all times is just so impressive. That was an amazing recovery from Lucas Valley, right? It's it's hard to imagine how many people would have been able to not get scored on him in that position. Well, I mean, he didn't advantage. even stay half a second on the mat. That the Gracie came up with that wrestle up style sweep and, and put him down, and Valley sprung back up. Now, Kenzel, I hate to do this, but I think that we're <laughs> going to have to move bats. I think we're going to have to switch over onto mat one because one of the biggest matches of the day, one of the ones that I was most excited for, excuse me, on mat two, is the featherweight semi-final between Shane Jamil Hill-Taylor and Fabricio Andre. It's about to go down. These guys are on deck. We will move across onto mat two because they are- Big semi-final match They're waiting here. at mat side. We're just waiting for the officials to, uh, to take their positions. So a little bit of a recap. I believe Fabricio has had, is it three submissions? In three and matches so far. Shane Jamil Hill-Taylor. Okay, here we go. Attention please, Master Six Mayo Black Lives Matter. Lucy Day Master Lima, please come to the forum. Lucy Day Master Lima, please come to the forum.